Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Control 2. This is part 29. Um, we've just encountered the Bucks. Why are you so hostile towards our species? Ah, uh, you are even uglier than I had thought possible. Can't you see you are making me sick? Please, foul creature, turn your head, or better yet, put a sack over it. Never <laughs> mind, I have adjusted my display so it is dim enough to be tolerable. In answer to your question, our response is simple. We must attack you because our masters, the Urquan, wish it so. Now, if you don't mind, stop nodding your head like that. We Vux do not share this range of motion, and it appears as though your neck is broken and you are a jabbering corpse. <laughs> um. Is there another reason you hate us? Come on, tell me the truth. Do we need another reason? Ah. I understand. You refer to the first human encounter, the insult. What more can be said? On that day, your species proved its true crass nature. You see, we Vox pride ourselves on our open-mindedness, our ability to see beyond even the most bizarre and disgusting face like yours. But that insult was so low, so totally reprehensible, that we will never forget it. Yes, to be honest, that event pretty much fixed our attitude setting at abhor. I suspect we will despise you forever. Oh dear. What if we apologize? Could we talk truth then? Uh, probably not. You see, although we Vox are highly reasonable beings, who would never judge our race solely on its... Uh, Appearance, the magnitude of your Captain Rand's insult was such that we will probably never forgive your species. Well, I'll try anyway. The people of Earth hereby apologize to the Vux. Nope. I didn't think that would be sufficient. It lacked conviction. Sorry, but I'm afraid we'll just have to kill you now. Oh, really? <laughs> Bring it on. Who should we take? Um, Winkin, let's try you. Vox Intruder, ponderous vessel with strong main laser and inhibitory attack limpets. Hey, Voxy, Voxy, Voxy. Ha 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 ha. Oop, planet. Not quite in range. Got to avoid those green blobs. You're so slow. Money, money, money! <laughs> this is easy. Might be a bit different if I had a slower ship. Don't crash into asteroids, you're a bad pilot. Fup. His name is Fup. No wonder he died. And Zick. They have really bad names. Well, Brunkin. Wee. Three more hits should do it. One more hit. Woo. Not 
about 150 each. Okay. Slow Andrew. Converse. We come in peace. Transmit destruct sequence. Engaging self destruction circuitry. Money. Okay. Um, I'm heading to. Let's head to the center. Beta Luton. More Vux. Talk to you. Hello. Converse. I only got two here. Salutations. And may your sense of self preservation always be so dim. As our intruders surround your vessel, you may care to raise both hands into the air above you and practice the ancient chant of the prancing Awi master, Zen Dox, which begins. <laughs> Vox, we seek to learn more about you. Maybe then we can see eye to eyes. Look! Vomitous alien, if you want to talk to one of our species without making them sick, why don't you go see Admiral Zex at his world in Alpha Serenkov? He <coughs> likes Alpha Serenkov. Humans. Let's try that again. We the people of Earth really truly apologize for the stupid insult made by Captain Rand. No, that didn't cut it either really don't like us. Okay, let's see how fast we can fire now with our new improved ship. Not much faster. <laughs> Aha, can't touch me. Okay, where's he gonna come from? There he is. Three, three hundred credits. Well, resource units. It's Alpha Trinkov, or something like that. Alpha. There it is. Went right past it. And we're gonna bump into someone else, aren't we? Maybe. Oh no, we missed them. Uh, maybe the green planet. Let's find out. Ah, human visitors. What a treat. I am Admiral Zex. Please, do not be frightened. Unlike the rest of my species, I enjoy humans. You may know me by my reputation, my leadership of Vox forces during the war with your alliance. I assure you that this behavior, a sad necessity of those times, belies a much kinder, gentler being. Please, be welcome. We can get to know one another, expand our interspecies relationship. But wait, how silly of me. You aren't here for polite repartee. You have come for my show fixing maidens. How did he know that? What are you doing here, Admiral Zex? Ah, such a good question. But you always were a bright species. I will explain. After the Great War, in which I played some small part, the Vox High Council, in recognition for my services, granted me this planet, so that I might pursue my hobby without disturbing the general Vox pockets. I am a collector, you see. I have the finest menagerie of beautiful creatures in all space. A menagerie? Is this a collection of animals like a zoo? Animals? <laughs> oh no, Captain. Not mere animals. My menagerie contains only the most beautiful creatures in the galaxy. 
Each of my children, as I like to call them, has a wonderful set of traits which make them unique and special. Especially to me. I have a complete variety of beasts from as far away as Procyon and Vega. No, this is not just some zoo. I have worked diligently for many years to craft my menagerie, to gradually improve it. Perhaps you can't tell, but I am rather proud of it. Alas, there's one creature, one gorgeous animal which I do not yet possess. I would give almost anything for that creature, Captain. Admiral Zex, why didn't you attack us as all other fucks have? Because I like humans, Captain. I respect and admire your species. I do not share the bigoted views of most of my people. Ah, Admiral Zex, why do you like us? We thought all Vux hated humans. No, no, not all Vux, Captain. Most, but not all. It is true, when the majority of my people view one of your species, they are forced to regurgitate. But there are those among us who have grown beyond such childishness to take a more liberal view. We, the few sophisticates, are not subject to the whims and fads of current fashion. Our likes and dislikes are strictly based on personal preference. We see the beauty in you humans, the value in a long-term relationship. You are different, yes, but personally, I like difference. In fact, I adore it. Your physique is so wonderfully varied. Your multitudinous rigid appendages, your tiny double eyes, your varied skin coloration, and the delightful patchwork of hair covering only parts of your bodies, leaving other parts bare and smooth. Hmm, I value your species, Captain. I see you as just people, like us fox. Whoa, Admiral Zex, this is just a little too weird. Are you some kind of perv, uh, estate? You have talked with my Vox countrymen, haven't you? They are close-minded fools, bigoted in all ways. Call me what you wish, Captain. I choose to view myself as, well, simply open-minded, free to experience the full range of life's possibilities. The Vox rulers could not refuse my military genius, couldn't ignore the many victories I gave them, but they would not tolerate my behavior, accept my desires as natural. So they sent me out here, a hero's exile, where I won't poison the minds of youth with my bizarre ideas and perverted lifestyle. Huh, bigoted fools. You see, Captain, we are not all that different, you and I. We are different from the majority of Vox, and so we in Vox eyes are both monsters. If we went and got this little quick critter for you, would you give us a Shafixi Maidens? Hmm. What an interesting proposal. I never would have thought of such a wonderful idea myself. You are a genius, Captain. In answer to your question, yes, I accept your offer. Deliver the creature to me, and I shall give you the Shafixi Maidens. I will even provide you with a clue to finding the creature's native planet. My source for this information is an ancient wildlife handbook written millennia ago by some unknown alien author. The pertinent passage goes as follows. Demise. It basks in yellow light within the constellation Lynch Na Plo. We have translated Lynch Na Plo to mean approximately the long, thin creature who has swallowed the huge beast. I am afraid this is all that I know. I hope it is sufficient. Um. Goodbye, Admiral Zex. Goodbye, beautiful human. I hope we can meet someday as friends. Perhaps even more? Um, maybe not. <laughs> okay, star map. Long, thin chain of stars basks in yellow light. Where could that be? Maybe one of these? Or... Over 
here maybe? I don't know. I mean, let's head down to the Ye Hat, which are located. Ye Hat Gamma Serpentis. That's Beta, Alpha, Epsilon, Eta, Delta, Iota, Theta, Capella, Gamma Serpentis. Let's head here. Talk to the Yehat. Hmm. Yellow light. Um. Maybe one of these up here. I don't know. Shall I have to do some exploring? It's definitely a yellow sun, though. next to us. Hello! Converse! What am I seeing on the view screen? It's none other than the flattened old face of our friends the human. But, old ally, are you not knowing that we, the Yeha, are allied with the ur Quan now? And your presence outside the slave shield and in an armed starship are clear violations of your oath of fealty. Whatever shall we do? It just isn't a right thing to kill you, human, but as a loyal member of my clan, I must obey the wishes of our queen. We should be allies, friends. Explain why this cannot be. Your words are flying in the face of the facts, human. We are no longer being your allies. But unlike the nobles of our homeworld, we of the starship clans are bereaved at this course of events. The queen's decision to be joining the hierarchy pains us. At least help us with materials for our struggle. We cannot. To be doing so would be a direct violation of our royal queen's commands. Think he had the sheer dishonor of it all. We cannot be given the material aid, Captain. But perhaps you can make use of this information, Captain. Information. When we were fighting a great war against the Mycons, we encountered a number of odd worlds which seemed to be having their crust shattered. Molten lava ran across the surface in huge rivers, and dense metallic elements were abundant. But the strangest world we found was the first planet at the star at coordinate 639.5231.2. The Mycons were guarding this planet with an almost limitless number of their pod ships as though there was something of great value there. We could never break through their forces, though we destroyed scores of their ships. Perhaps... If you fare better than us, or can somehow trick the Mycons to let you land, you may discover the secret and it may help you in your quest. Interesting. By your honor, ye hat captain, I, Jimbo Spike, master of the Andromeda, in the name of the new alliance of three stars, call upon the starship clans to honor their word and fight for our cause. Hmm. We have encountered an offshoot of your species, the Pekunk. Tell us about them. The cards live? This is unbelievable! This is a sad, sad day to be hearing this thing from you, human! The b- The b- I can't even say their vile name! The b- The b- Kunk is the greatest embarrassment our species has ever suffered! Do not be calling these wretched creatures an offshoot of our species! Better is you be calling them garbage or droppings! Better yet, do not be talking about them at all! <laughs> okay. Um. By your honor, ye hat captain, I, Jimmy Spike, master of the Andromeda, in the name of the new alliance of three stars, call upon the starship clans to honor their word and fight for our cause. Yes. As much as my heart cries the aid, ye valiant human, I cannot. Each of us is sworn first to our queen, who has commanded us to treat ye as an enemy of the crown. 
Your species obligation cannot simply be forgotten. What about your honor? Your pride? Can you see that you're killing me, human? The shame. The awful shame of it. What you say is true. We should be under the same wing, but damn your eyes. Our queen has given the Urquan our allegiance, and there is nothing I could be doing about it now. Conversation over. Okay. Star map. Um, the Kunk on their way, and I just dropped the pen. Um, let's see, Micon six three nine by two one three point two. Two three one point two. Let's go there. Ah, uh, we just missed him. I'm definitely being attacked less often than I was earlier by Cilantro probes. And we're going to be meeting a lot of races in this part. The Vux, the Hat, the Micon. Ooh, is that a Micon? Possibly. Let's wait for him. Hello! Converse! We are part of Jafferwa. Jafferwa is the hot light in the darkness. All else is unfulfilled void. We are the Mycon. Um, I wonder how you would taste fighting butter. A single spore lands, finds nourishment in decay, and soon attains maturity. In turn, it exhales a cloud of new life. A thousand spores, each lands, finds nourishment in decay. So progresses gentle one. Icon, please try to understand. We wish peace between our peoples. Our bodies seethe with the passion of our genes. A thousand of your species do not possess the richness in one of my cells. Don't trouble yourself. I'll see myself out. Jumbo what fills in my fibers and I grow turgid. Violent action ensues. Oh dear. Um, who should we use? Who should we use? Let's use... Zipzack! Micon pod chip generates extremely destructive homing plasmoids. Given full energy, can regenerate lost crew. Try you. Whoops. Oh no! Well... Zot Fock aren't very good against them. Let's try... Tweety! You did well before. Loser, stupid, moron, idiot, wimp, dummy, twit, fool, dodo, loser, baby. Haha! That worked well. Do 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 do. Baby, idiot, stupid, dodo, moron, baby, twit, worm, twit, idiot, jerk, idiot, twit. Loser, worm, jerk, worm, fool, idiot, loser, stupid, Whoa. idiot, dodo, fool, idiot, jerk. Oh, can't good against these guys. Moron, loser, wimp, dodo, baby, stupid, wimp, baby, dodo, twit, moron, baby, dodo, loser, stupid, <laughs> Spin around in circles. Fool, moron, loser, dodo, worm, fool, twit, loser, wimp, stupid, wimp, moron, dummy, fool, stupid, moron, loser, Ooh, baby, this. loser, wimp, baby, moron, baby, stupid, wimp, moron, twit. <laughs> Am I evil? I don't know. Jerk, baby, loser, fool, Ooh, close. dodo, jerk. Wimp, 
idiot, jerk, worm, idiot, moron, myth, idiot. Decimated them. Ooh, planet. I like Tweety. He's good. That's <clears throat> some money. Okay, where were we heading? Micron space. Um, it was. Where did I write it down? Um, Micron two three one point two. Nope. Nope. This place. Let's go there. Maybe we'll find the proof we need to get the Cyrena on our side. The orangey planet. How many they got here? Oh dear. Converse. This is a special place filled with Japon one. We must not allow it to be soiled by the non. You must go now. What makes this place so special to you? Chuffo Wap is the power of life. Hot warmth in the cold void. It flows through all things, binding them together, making them one. You are non Chuffo Wap. You cannot understand. Below is the pod of Jephelma, there for a thousand centuries. When we are cold, the pod opens and warms us. When it is dark, the pod clenches, and lo, there is light. You are the non. The pod is not for you. You must leave. Hmm. Well, I'll just be going now. You are the non. You must go now, and never Return. Oh, we'll be back, don't worry. Hmm. Okay, so we can't get proof from here. Star map. Um, let's try... Here. So on places with a red orbit ring. Down this way. Narrowly avoid that guy. Uh, don't think this is a place. We'll check it anyway. Got a green orbit ring. Ooh, it's got a moon as well. We'll check out the moon. Scan. Nothing here. What about this place? Scan. Nope, nothing here. In star map, let's go to this green one. You need to find some proof. Get another ally. They're very slow, aren't they? Ooh, this looks promising. Let's go straight down the middle. Head for this place here. Uh, might have to fight some mic on here. Avoid it if I can. Go to the planet. Oh dear. Converse. Juffle Wop is all omni existent. Spreading and changing the non into Jaffawa. You are non who must become Jaffawa or void. We are the ages of Jaffawa. We are the Mycon. What can you tell me about your species? I fill with my parents, 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 parents. I am they. And they are us, then and now. 
So you have genetic memory, basically. Let's be friends. The deep children are a part of Chapel One. Home builders, the dwellers in the mobile robots. You impede the flow of Jeffel Wap through the universe. We will now remove this clog. We will now aid Jeffel Wap by eliminating you. You're gonna try to blow us up, are you? Eat flagship. Not quite in range. Oh dear. Nice. Can we catch up with him? Go faster, 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 faster. Ooh, we got hit off on us. Hit off on us. Hmm. Not sure if I can beat these guys. Oh dear. Okay, let's leave. Leave. We can't beat these guys. Go, 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 faster, 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 faster. Okay, leave. Go, 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 go. Um, leave as fast as we can. Oh dear. Only three. Converse. We are the Micron. Um. <laughs> you know, I probably have some of your relatives between my toes. I am Doogie. Doogie. I am the purity monitor. I choose what buds are permitted to mature and which must be eradicated. I died of general misfunction 57,283 years ago. Mycon, please try to understand which peace between our peoples. A cold rock spinning silently in the void. A womb for the children. Jaffa what fills in my fibers and I grow turgid. Violent action ensues. Hmm. Let's use... I wonder if... Woo will do any good. Woo! Oh dear. Fire! Fire! Come on! Fire! Fire! Don't miss! It's regenerating health! Fires and missiles! He's slightly faster than us. Okay. There you go, this way, are you? Interception! From the. I don't know what that is. Plasma? Let's go this way. Yes! Go woo! Woo! Oh dear, oh dear! That didn't go well. <coughs> okay, let's use. Don't think you'd be very good. Let's use Tweety! Charge the enemy! Worm, baby. Worm, baby. Worm, loser. Moron, jerk. Dummy, baby. Idiot. Twit, dodo. Worm, <laughs> moron. He's a fool, isn't he? Dodo, fool. Oh dear. <laughs> His resurrection abilities are amazing. Worm, 
Victory! Spinning through space. Oop, I'm bouncing off an asteroid. Okay. Oh dear. Didn't want to go back to the planet. Navigate. Leave. Go, 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 go. Get out of there. Run. Run, you fool. Run. Oh my god, there's so many mic on. And with that, I'm going to call that it for part 29. Join me next time for part 30. I'll see you then.